Okay guys, welcome to Go Academy. If you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. So today we're gonna to be looking at this position where white is trying to invade this area. And then instead of like a traditional, maybe one space jump, he does a second line slide, trying to attack this area and trying to gain as much room here. So you might see this when maybe you have six or seven handicap and the white is trying to play in this side or when maybe you just have three stones here like this and the white wants to destroy some of your territory. The most common response would be something like this, which could lead to this shape. And from here, depending on the white, what white does, it could lead to some trouble. If he does maybe a traditional, more common one space jump, simply respond with the diagonal move if we go straight up like this, that's pretty good for us. We just go one space jump again, exactly like the other side. Now we have two strong walls. White has really nothing. He invested four stones into gaining pretty much nothing. Now he has to play to escape, trying to get out and not the best shape. So white might do something like a knight's move. In this case, if you make an empty triangle kind of shape, well, it just makes white really strong. Lots of stones here, open to the middle, and look at your stones. You got four stones clumped together in a terrible shape, and not they're, they're not doing anything, really. So you're simply just going to push up like this, and you're going to make this wall. Again, really strong wall, especially if you have a stone here. And look at white. White barely has anything. He spent six stones and got nothing. Well, you spent these five and look at all this too. So bad trade for white. And that's why white might play something like this. So if you are playing with six handicaps, that means white is significantly better than you. And white might be assuming that you don't know how to respond to this move. This is kind of like a cheese move. If you don't know how to respond, it could go pretty bad for you. So let's pretend like we haven't learned about this and we don't know what to do. You might think something like this, trying to protect this side could be a good idea. But the problem here is once white pushes one here, you can't block him. You get disconnected and now you have two stones you have to protect. If you go somewhere else, these two are threatened. If you save these, oh, I can go here, pushing out to this side, surrounding this, trying to capture it, or could simply just do something like this where he gets some territory here. You're divided. He still has this to play with and all around, not the best shape. So, if you respond like this and white does this, you're going to have to either go one out like this or one space jump where again, white does this kind of move again, getting some territory and your shape, not the best here. So this is not going to work. How about something like this? Well, if white just simply goes like this, that's good for us. Oh, we got a wall here and White got some room here. We traded this for a strong territory on this side. But again, white's probably not going to do this, especially if you're playing with handicap. White's going to always want to fight and he's going to do this, disconnecting you. If you go for this, disconnect, something like this happens where this whole side's broken, this side's broken, white's. It's white's turn. White can still leave here. These stones are not really doing much and you're sitting in a bad spot. So how would you respond to this? Well, I'm going to teach you two ways. One, safe, simple, and the second, more aggressive and lead, leading to a fight. So let's start with the simpler one, the safer one. This one's you're going to play more because you're probably going to see this when you're playing against someone that's better than you. And when you're playing against someone better than you, you want to avoid fights as much as you can. So safe move like this, pretty good. 
if white pushed out this way, you're simply going to disconnect. And we're going to show you why white cannot go this way. Because white can't disconnect here. Well, white can, but it's not going to lead to any good situations. The problem for black is we can't do a ladder because we get a tar rate here. But we can go straight out like this. Now, if white also goes straight out, instead of doing this, because once this happens, we can't connect both sides. So instead of doing this, we're going to simply go one out again. And white has to block here. And we push out. White can't block us here. White can't block us here. And now look at this. White's all divided up, all separated. These are all threatened. White's in a terrible spot. So what if white tries to do something like this? Well, then we just cross over. Again, separated, both not alive yet. And white's going to have to worry about both of them. So that's why white can't push out on this side because he'll simply get disconnected. So if white goes here, we block. White does a diagonal shape. And you do something like this. Or if you have a stone here, you could go here, protecting this side and corner. Now, if we look at this, we traded about three stones for three stones. White used these three to make about, what, five, six territory. And we use our three to protect this whole side. So we come up on top in this altercation. So it's good for us. So this safe, conservative, you get to protect this side. You trade this for this side and white only gets a little territory while well, you get a lot more. So what's the next one? How do you play aggressive? Well, it's this one. It's a little risky, especially if you're playing with handicap because white's going to be a little better than you. But let's see. If you do this, white's going to go here trying to connect and you could go here and just maybe make a wall like this let white connect play it safe but we're gonna go full aggressive and we're gonna block him again if he goes here trying to disconnect then we're gonna atari and then cross over look at that fully connected if white atari simply connect white can't disconnect here now white's fully divided and he has to save both. If he goes somewhere like this, he could do this, play it a little safe, threaten both sides. But if you want to go even more aggressive, you could even do something like this. If white plays it safe, save this side, you're going to protect your weakness while threatening these five stones. If white divide disconnects you, which again, if he's better player than you, he most likely will. Then you can Atari either side and play out a Ko. You could do this to play out a Ko, but if you're feeling a little uncomfortable, if you don't feel like you wanna fight him, you could simply just connect here. We put him in a clump position. We still have a little bit of side. He doesn't have any territory. And we protected this side somewhat. So what if white does this instead? Well, we're going to simply let him cross. And then do something like this. Where white only made about four, five territory. And even if he does this later, if you simply go like this, you save this area. And this isn't an eye, a real eye yet. If white goes here, boom, no real eyes. If white goes here, just like this, no real eye. So if once you do this, white still has to worry about this and it's gonna be in the back of his mind for the rest of the game. So that's how you disconnect here like that. So now that we went over this shape if you're playing with six maybe seven handicap 
and you see the white trying to do this, trying to cheese you. Now you know how to respond. You're going to shock them. They're not going to know what to do. And you're going to be able to perfectly play it out. Well, thank you for watching the video all the way through. And if you guys enjoyed it, uh, maybe check out another one of my videos.